Hello everyone, my name is Dracomen and welcome back to another Let's Play episode. This is episode 15 and right now I am still currently in the fully drained ocean monument. Uh, but this is not actually where I want to be right now. See, I have my sponges. And we're act actually where I want to be right now is um, back in my farming village. You know what I forgot? I don't have my ender chest. <laughs> Dang it, I need my ender chest. Oh man, I left it at the, I left it at the ocean monument. I need to go back and get that. Okay, we'll just go back and grab that quick. Also, another thing I'm gonna need is a bit more of this because if I'm gonna be in the farming village, I need a portal so I can get to the Nether to dry out my sponges. But that also means that um, uh, that I uh, need to link up another portal to my village, which I haven't done yet, which is surprising because that is like a big part of my base, and I really need to actually start getting work on that because. Yeah, I definitely need a portal. There we go. That looks interesting. <laughs> but it works. That's the point. It keeps mobs out. Okay, so grab this. And, well, here. Let's check the coordinates of this first. This is one, negative 177.66.350, we'll say. So let me just write that down. Okay, so the coordinates for the other side of this portal, which will be in the nether, is negative 22.44. Or that's the um, that's the first coordinate and the last coordinate. The y coordinate doesn't really matter, which is the height. So let's go ahead and light this, and then let's head back to my other portals and get this new portal in place. So right here is where we want our portal to be. So let's build this up. Let's go ahead and light that. Okay, so I got the portals linked up, and so now we can. To start working on our squid farm but it looks to be nighttime so let's get to bed quick first hold on how many there are so many villagers in my little base here i think like two got in or something and then they just created a family <laughs> a freaking humongous family for that matter what the heck there's even more back in my sugarcane area how are you guys Oh, this is ridiculous. So, to make a proper squid farm, the first thing we need to do... It, well, I suppose we could just wait on the squid to die off on us, can't we? But the first thing we need to do is make sure we, ha we are in a river biome. Okay, so I think this area here is the most amount of river biome that I have for quite a ways. Okay, so I've sectioned off where I want the edges of the squid farm to be, and this is so this is just going to be the general area where the squid farm is going to be, and then I now what I want to do is drain all the water within a 28 block, or not 20, <laughs> 120 or so block radius of the squid farm. So hopefully there aren't any oceans nearby this, other, other than that this should be pretty easy although i was hoping after last episode i was hoping i wouldn't have to drain anymore but well i guess not <laughs> so i just got back from the nether to grab these shulker boxes of sand from the um yeah the mon and i see these guys in here so that's an awesome sign they're already spawning in here which is great but now to get even more spawns in here we need to drain off everything so this may take a while but basically what I want to do is just section off smaller areas of water and then drain them individually and then grab the sand again and make some more sections to drain off so this could take a while basically what I'm doing is the same thing of what I've been doing for the last week <laughs> which is draining the monument and now I have fully drained the river areas as you can see here there's nothing back this way. Well, there are a couple like forest like lakes, but that's actually not part of the river biome, so I didn't have to drain those over there. So that was really nice. But I did drain all of the water here and along here, and all the way back there on the other side of the squid farm. Um, as you can see over there, there's no water. So now I can actually start work on the squid farm and as you can see these spawns are actually getting pretty high in here so this is great so the first thing i need to do to start making the squid farm is actually dig down inside the squid farm quite a ways probably like maybe 30 20 30 blocks or so and then i can actually start working on the technical part of the squid farm which is going to be a lot more complicated but we'll see about that so i've dug down quite a ways as you can see uh, this is probably around 20-ish blocks, 
And so now that I have that done, I actually need a bunch of signs and then a bunch of oak fences in order to make the squid farm, which is going to be very costly. <laughs> I don't want to destroy the forest, but it's probably the only choice I have. So I guess I'll... I do, I do prefer oak trees over these trees, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take these trees out. And then hopefully I can get enough saplings to replant some of them. That would be preferable. So I guess we'll go tree chopping now. So I got plenty of oak logs from that, but then I also got plenty of saplings. And I've left quite a scar up on the earth. But now, let's see if we can repopulate this forest. Because each tree gave probably at least two saplings. Most likely more. So hopefully we can repopulate this forest and have it grow back to something bigger and thicker than what it was because that would be great if we could do something like that there we go that should do the trick okay so now we can work back on this thing again so what we need to do first i suppose is make a crap ton of signs because oh my gosh yeah i need a lot of signs a lot a lot of signs okay so now the next thing we need to do once we have all of our signs let's go down one two blo three blocks and then on the third block place a sign done okay that did not waterlog, or did waterlog. Oh, no, the sign's waterlogged. That's not a good thing. Okay. Okay, that one. Okay, that one was in fallen water. This one was in a source block. That's why it didn't waterlog. So we might just have to lower the top water level, which was sad because that will push down the rates a little bit. But then just go down one, two blocks. Third block, place a sign. One, two, sign. One, two, sign. Oh, and now we're at the bottom. Okay, then. So that's how many layers we're going to lit. I actually will probably have to dig a little bit further down for this. And this will definitely not be enough signs. Which is going to be a problem. But now, the next thing we need to do... Yeah, this might be smaller than expected. But we just need to put signs all along here. Oh man, i got to get used to this sound. As you can see, I've finished the whole thing, and it is in fact working. As you can see, the squid are spawning up there, and then falling down through these signs, and then onto the floor, and then dying. Now let's see if we can get some torches in here, so that we actually have a little bit of light, or not having a ton of mobs spawn around, because we don't want mobs. Beautiful. Okay, that should be good enough to not spawn any mobs. Why is there bone meal right there? What could that have come from? I have no idea. Whatever. Alright. Get out of here. Alright, let's... So now, the next step... The next thing is the door is actually... Um, the fences. Now, I'm assuming what I'm doing is correct, but... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, so... Place the fence, open it, just like that. But then we have to do it there, and there. And you skip a block, place it and just keep doing this for a little bit. So because squid spawn in a too high area of water, um, I was thinking that if we just did this, then the squid could spawn here, and then if they try to swim anywhere, they just fall down here, where they would then uh, die very sadly. That's, that's, that's just sad, but anyways. So, so what I'm trying to do is trying to make these in a crisscross pattern so that the squid actually have somewhere to fall, and I'm doing that by just placing them on the sign. And then opening them, and then I gotta open them so that squid can actually go through. Man, this is just sad now. <laughs> oh, okay, that guy jumped back up though. He's probably gonna fall back down again, but anyways. So I think I found a method here. And I'm just gonna stick with this until I'm done. But this is very costly, and I'm already ready running out of logs, which is a problem because I only just finished like the first layer. So I'll probably kind of do a lot more of deforesting. Bad news is. I'm out of wood. The good news is our forest has regrown, which means we can we can go off and tear it down again. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not what I ever grew you for, forest. I'm just a bad person today. I think what I'm trying to try to do first is put all the signs in place because those are less expensive to make, and then I'm gonna go and make the um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the fences and then start putting those in place. That just seems to make more sense to me. But before I do anything drastic, I'm going to first drain out the top of this thing, because all of these are water source blocks, which is a problem for signs like this, or for layers like this, because then um, 
the uh, the layers or the signs and the gates will just be waterlogged, which is a big problem because then that means I cannot actually, <coughs> or the squid can just spawn wherever and then they won't actually fall either, which is also a problem. So seeing as I need so much wood, I decided that now would actually be a fine time to actually make a, um, a tree farm. And actually I'm going to use the design that I posted in my last video, the last redstone video, which was a uh, simple, like, super fast uh, tree f uh, tree farm. And I'm just going to use that design to make my tree farm. Actually, we shouldn't need too much. That's plenty. So... Let's get to work on this thing. First things first, I have to figure out where my farm is going to go. So there's a big open space that's conveniently square right there. I might build it there. There's plenty of space right there. There's plenty of space between my squid farm and all my other farms, just like this general area here. But then I suppose I could also do it like right here as well. And maybe even on the other side of this thing here. Nah, no, actually, yeah, there's not quite as much room over here. So maybe over here, I don't really want it that far away from everything because I, I kind of want it to be like in the middle of everywhere that I walk around, which is generally this area here. So I'll probably just build it like right there in that spot there and half an hour later well, there it is the beautiful little tree farm which actually looks it looked bigger on my redstone testing world i don't know why it looks so small now but i think i think everything should be working the only thing i'm missing now are all the chests and hoppers that go along this side of it that drain into the dispenser and obviously all the bone meal so Oh gosh, okay, I'm gonna just drop some of this in my redstone box, and then I'll go grab some other materials. There we go, I have the chest system in place, so those are all ready. I still need to fill them with bone meal, and I have the skeleton farm back at my place way back over there. So I do have, I'm sure I should have plenty of bone meal, I don't know if I'll fill up this entire thing. And then one more thing I need to add before leaving. I actually forgot this in the Redstone video as well, but it is that slab right there. <laughs> I can't forget that this time because that's the thing that stops giant trees from um, becoming enormous and so or from from spawning at all. And so I really definitely need that that uh, that slab there. So I'm here in my skeleton farm, and I started killing off skeleton, collecting what I could from the chest, and this is what I've got, which is pretty great because each block is nine bone meal, which is pretty great. So like a stack of this is nine stacks of bone meal, and this is a nine stacks of bone blocks, so that's 81 stacks of bone meal. Wow, I'm getting mad. All right, let's get out of here. Well, I plowed through that pretty fast. That filled up about the half of this chest and then all of the top chest, which isn't nearly as much as I need. So, probably gonna have to spend some AFK time at the skeleton farm, but this thing is filling up and it should stay filled up for probably a little while. So, I think we can actually go ahead and start using this thing. So I got this, I got a couple saplings from when I was clearing out some trees over there for the chests for the, um, for those because I was, yeah, I just needed some wood and I didn't feel like clearing out more of that forest because I like that forest. Um, so I got a couple oak saplings and let's hope the whole thing works on the first try. I turned off the volume so it didn't get too crazy loud. Except I'm missing a row. <laughs> Which is kind of a problem. How did I miss that? Okay, give me a second. And here we go, putting the pistons in. So now it should be fully functional. Yes, okay, so it is all working. Now I can just sit here in AFK and get some wood for a little while. Oh gosh, I didn't account for the piston push limit. I totally forgot this this would go that far. But it's a good thing I built it that far away because like two more blocks and I almost would have hit this thing, which would have been bad. 
but it has started on the second row, so that's actually as far as it's going to go, uh, as it's going to go, which is great. But the only thing I have, uh, the only problem I have with this thing is it's, it's not quite producing as many oak saplings as I would have liked. But we, I'm sure there's a different way to figure that out. So pretty quickly, I, I, I ran out of saplings. I don't have any in my inventory on in that chest, or at least I don't have any oak saplings. Um, but I did create this handy dandy staircase here so I can get up to the top and just mine this out with my axe So as you can see I got this from about a minute or two of mining which so it's a pretty efficient farm It just really needs a lot of saplings and it doesn't produce a lot of saplings So I'll I think I'll just have to make a different farm later on Like that's more of like a sapling farm specifically made to produce saplings because this thing is just horrible at it. <laughs> and I actually, I think I have something in mind for that, but it does, it is quite resourceful, so we'll see about that. But I did this, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it at, as this farm for this video. I'm not gonna go any further for this, for a wood farm. I'll just leave it at this one so we can continue on with our uh, squid farm. Once again, I am able to work on my squid farm finally. I, uh, the problem is though, the amount of wood that the farm gave me actually still wasn't a lot. It was only about four stacks, so I filled my inventory with signs. I still have plenty more wood, actually. But uh, we're just going to see how far this gets me. Until I get more saplings, I won't really be able to finish this farm. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just leave this as the first half of the episode. And then continue uh, wood making. Time. And there we go, the first, or well, I guess technically the second layer, all of the signs have been now officially placed, which is great, this is a great feeling. Our farm is progressing, but now, now we have to deal with getting all the water back in between the fence gates again, because all that disappeared, all that was falling water, none of it was source blocks, so all of it's gone now, <laughs> which is kind of, whoa, those fish, holy cow, those fish are bouncing, they like fell down. They got hurt and then they bounced straight back up into the water again. Man, I wish I could I wish I could take fall damage like that. That would have been fun. But anyways, so yeah, that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, then consider subscribing because that would help out a lot. But yeah, I'll see you next time.